guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm gonna show you guys the products that I've been loving for the past couple of months. I know I have not done a favorites video in a while, <laughs> but um, yeah, today, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you're not part of the Pineapple Squad, don't forget to join my channel and be part of my squad. And without further ado, let's begin with the favorites and the first one i'm going to say is this one and i know you guys already know this one this is the one well mega glow contouring palette y'all this is my second one let me show you this is my first one which i hit pan on it and i'm obsessed with and then this is the one that i've been using i just purchased this one i don't know if you guys have ever seen it if you haven't you need to pick it up it's honestly one of those things that are like $4.99 and you can get it cheaper now at Target, I believe. I bought this on a Target for three something, so you could definitely get it cheaper. And it's just so good. I contour with it today. It's like the perfect shade for me. They're both like perfect. Like I'm obsessed with this one. And this is one of the things that you need to purchase because it's cheap and it's amazing and it beats some of the high-end ones. And um, yeah, so I've really been loving that one. And then my next favorite is also a powder. And I feel like I have a, I have a lot of face things, which is pretty good. <laughs> um, and this is the NYX No Filter um, sand, sand Filter Finishing Powder. And I have mine in uh, Classic Tan, if you are wondering. And mine's beat up. It's so ugly. Um, and, I, and I'm almost hit pan on it. Like, you can see, like, the side. You can't even, like, see the the roundness anymore because I've been using it so much. It's a very, very good powder. It doesn't change the color of your foundation whatsoever. So that's why I've been really enjoying it. And then the next thing that I'm gonna show you guys is something I am so sad that I don't have anymore. It's completely done. Like this foundation is honestly, hands down, after the Fenty foundation, is hands down one of the best foundations I've ever tried. And I'm just like, I find myself that like I don't like how my, my makeup looks and everything without it I just feel it's like the best foundation for me like I love the other ones and everything but there's something about this one that I just cannot like I, I can't like this is my safe foundation when I'm going somewhere or I know I'm gonna take pictures or I'm gonna wear for like a long time this is the one that I pretty much like like um go to and this is the superstay full coverage foundation by Maybelline and it looks like this is a 24 hour foundation they have so many shades so I'm sure you guys can find your shade um but yeah my shade is 320 honey and I definitely have to buy it again I did do a review on this foundation so I will leave it down below for you guys if you want to watch it but it's it's just such an awesome foundation I need to buy it for all my clients because it is bomb tickly bomb <laughs> and then the next thing i just did a review on this color pop um no filter setting a powder and it's honestly such a good powder it does leave you under eyes so smooth like i don't think i have a powder that leaves you under eyes that smooth i'm still trying it out more but so far i am loving it it is like it is cheating a little bit because i haven't used it the whole month but I'm obsessed with it like I'm obsessed with it and it's so small and it's so cute and I really do like it um all right so my next thing is this this is the pixie by Chloe Mo Morello Morello um and this is her I guess her romantic radiance palette and it looks like this it has like the blushes it has the eyeshadows the highlights I mean these are like multitasking so you can use it for like multiple things but oh my god I have, I'm obsessed with this palette I'm, I'm, I literally use every shade I love it. These you can use as eyeshadow if you want because they're definitely too light for me. This one is the perfect cheek color for me. I'm obsessed with it. And then these right here I use as eyeshadows and I also use it to fill in my eyebrows. It's like the perfect color to fill in my eyebrows and I'm like obsessed. Obsessed. You should definitely try it. I think they have this one at Target, if I'm not mistaken. If not, you can also go to the Pixie website. But, um, yeah, I haven't played too much with these, but, oh, my goodness, this is so good. This palette, I'm telling you, Pixie, when they come out with something, they rock it because it's so good. And then the last product that I have, like I said, I don't have a lot of products. I haven't played with makeup just because my beauty room is not complete. They're still doing construction. I managed to do this, this little small setup just for now. Um, but yeah, like it's definitely not even close to being done and it's like Yeah And my next product is this flower beauty concealer guys I've been using this concealer for like two months like almost every every day or every other day and it's still full like I keep 
Like I keep like, oh, you know, let me just put it on. Like, oh, there's more, and like, it's it's just it keeps on coming, and I'm not, I don't understand where all the concealer is. Like it has, let me see how much it has. 0.21 on. Okay, you know, it's I think it's normal for a concealer, isn't it? Let's see. My Makeup Revolution one has, oh, this one has 0.11, and then this one has, like I said. 0.21 so this has way more and this was like so much chubby I don't know how, I mean this one did run out really fast like after I did the review for it it ran out like like the next week and I was like what what is wrong with you um but yeah I've been loving this concealer it's the it does not crease it looks so good I will leave the tutorial down below that I did with this concealer I did review it with a foundation the foundation is not my favorite it's a little it's a little too glowy for me I feel like my face is glowing too much and my face is already oily so I don't have time for that but this, the concealer it's so good you guys know I love concealer and I don't need to correct all the time with this concealer so that is a plus and I've really been enjoying it and I've really been loving it so um, the next product that I have is this BH Cosmetics Studio Pro Eye and Lip Makeup Remover and it looks like this and it's just a bottle like you know it's so cute and I, and I got this one actually at Popcorn Beauty Supply um, where I live here in New York they have like this humongous beauty supply where they have like Morphe, BH Cosmetics, stuff like that and uh, oh Sigma also so I went there because I needed some like uh, makeup remover fast because I was doing a client and um, I've been loving this one so much it's so good like I'm almost out and I'm like crying because I don't like it's so good like it's really 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 good and I think it was like less than five dollars and this is a pretty good bottle so okay. I like it I approve and those are the products that I've been loving for this month and yeah hopefully next month I'll have more products for you guys but so far this is all I have thank you so much for watching I know this video was super super short but um I have more amazing videos to come for you guys in the next videos so thank you so much for watching God bless you and I will see you in my next video bye guys